In version 7, your ability to drag and drop is going into overload. Hi, my name is Stephen Fluin. In this Demos with Angular snippet, I want to show you how CDK version 7 allows you to drag and drop within a list and across multiple lists. Let's get started. So to show off drag and drop, we're going to get started here with a ng-nude version 7 Angular application, and we ran ng add at angular slash material and selected some of the default options. So if we jump over to the code base, this should look all very familiar. Uh, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually want to import the drag drop module so that we can start adding drag drop to our application. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run import drag drop module, and I'm going to import that from the CDK. So at angular slash CDK slash drag drop. And then we'll add this to our list of imports. And now we can jump into our template and actually start creating a list. So first, I'm just going to create a plain list without any sort of dragging and dropping features. And then we'll enrich it a little bit. So I like to have a list of numbers here. I think it shows off dragging and dropping pretty well. So what I'll say is numbers is going to be a list of numbers. And we're going to initialize it as an empty array. And then I'm going to create a constructor that's going to iterate maybe cons, uh, let i equal 0 all the way up to i is less than 10,000. And let's just do i++ plus plus here. And then we can create a number for each one of those. So we'll say numbers dot push. And we'll just push i onto the array. So with that, we should have a list of numbers available on our component. Now we can jump over to our HTML and replace everything we've got here with a nice little div ng4 let number of numbers, and then we'll just render out the number here. Let's take a look. So that looks pretty good. Let's uh, give it a little bit of styling here. So I'm going to give this a class, maybe I'll just call this an item. And then we can just throw some inline CSS here where we say an item has a height of 150 pixels, we'll give it a border of 1px solid green. And that should probably be good enough. Maybe we'll, we'll make it here display in uh, flex, inline flex, I think I want here, because I want to center everything inside of it. So I'm going to say justify content center and align items center. All right, so we should have the number is now in the middle. Whoops, we also probably need width 100%. Here we go. We have a very nice list of all the numbers from 0 to 9999 here. This is a normal list. This is all just basic Angular. But now I'm going to quickly add drag and drop. And so there's a couple uh, directives that we're going to need to know about. So the first is really creating the uh, container where you can listen for these drop events that we're going to be caring about. So I'm going to do that in my HTML with a CDK drop list. So you're going to notice everything we're going to do here is going to be a CDK drop list. So you're going to see this prefix a, a bunch of different times and we'll just wrap our entire container around that object here. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, define that the each of the items in my CDK drop list is going to be a CDK drag. Uh, and so this is the directive that says, hey, let's enrich this. Um, and even before we wire anything up, we should be able to actually now see that we have a list being rendered. We can click on an item and we can start dragging it. So the preview is going to work just fine here. But what you're going to notice is that uh, if I drop this item, it's just going to go back directly to where it was. So we, we don't actually have the events yet that you need in order to handle and intercept uh, the things that, that we need to do. So we haven't actually updated our data model upon that drag event. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my CDK drop list, and I'm going to say CDK drop list. So that's the prefix dropped. And I will just pass in a drop event to a method that I'm going to define in just a moment. So we're creating a custom method here that's going to take this event. And we're going to call that method drop. So whenever the drop event happens, we're going to get an event. And this event is going to be of type CDK drag drop. And what you also have to do is you have to define the type of item you're dragging and dropping. So because this is just a number array, we can just tell it it's a number array. This could be any sort of object you want, whatever your list is. And now I'm going to go and use a built-in method. Uh, that's This is built into the CDK. It's called move item in array. So if you use that, you're going to see in our imports move item in array. It's coming directly from our CDK drag drop capabilities. And we're going to pass it three things. So we're going to pass it the array. So one of the things we can do is we could just say this.numbers. 
Uh, we could also, um, if we wired up our component a little bit more in the HTML, we could actually say uh, event.container.data. That's another way of getting at that if you wired up in the HTML, which we'll be doing in a second. Uh, but for now, I'll just say this.numbers, and then I'll pass it this, uh, the event.previousindex, and then I will be passing it the event.currentIndex. And that should be enough for the move items in array method to understand where the item came from, where it went for, to, and making sure that it's updating the right data set. So let's give this a try now. So if I drag zero down here and let go, everything is up to date. And now my data model is up to date and all the renderings correct. So that is the simplest version of drag and drop. Uh, if we wanted to make this a little bit more complex, uh, we could go and add two lists. So let's, let's go ahead and try that now. So I'm gonna bring this down to something like 10. Uh, and I'm gonna create a, a couple containers for us. So first I'm gonna create a container. Uh, I'm gonna shrink up this container a little bit. So let's say width is maybe only 25% and we'll give it a border, uh, solid red, one pixel. And now let's go ahead and make another uh, container for ourselves here. So we're gonna make another div. We're gonna say CDK drop list, CDK drop list dropped. We're going to just use the same event handler to handle both of these events, and we'll see how to do that in a little bit. And let's make this one render very similarly. Maybe we'll make this one just blue so that it's as garish as I can make it here. So and then we'll make another div here, CDK drag, and before, let number of other numbers. So this is going to be a list we're going to create in just a second. And I'll, I'll do the same sort of rendering with that. All right, now let's make our other numbers object here. This is also gonna be a number array and we'll just initialize it to the empty array. And let's take a look at our template and see how that did. So we have here our list of red items and let's just show these side by side here. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of flex box. So style equals display flex. And that should put these lists side by side and things a little bit better. All right, so we have on our left our red list and our right we have our blue list. Um, so you can see I can now visually do this, but nothing happens when I drop it because we haven't handled the event where the originating container is different from the resulting container. Let's go ahead and add that now. So a couple of the things we wanna do is we want to embed into the template the data that we're actually listing in each of these. So on each of these, container divs, I'm going to add a new directive, and that directive is going to be the CDK drop data, uh, drop list data. And by binding to this and then just giving it the object that I'm binding to, uh, we'll be able to access that as part of the event. So let's do the same thing down here. And this is going to be other numbers. So we've got numbers and other numbers, so the lists kind of know what data they're operating on. The next thing I wanna do is I'm going to wire up these lists to each other. So I'm gonna make each list aware of the other list. And the way that I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna add a uh, CDK drop list connected to directive here. And here I'm gonna give it the other list. And then in the original list, I'm gonna give it the first list. And then we're, we'll make these both variables. So we'll say other list is this one and we'll call this one first list. And there's one more change I need to make. So although we've identified these uh, via a template variable, we actually need to refer not to the native div here, which is what's being identified with this first list. We actually need to identify the drop list object that exists on this. So I can just say CDK drop list in each of these. So other list equals CDK drop list. And then I can go from there. Uh, and if we take a look at our preview here, we can see everything works except our drop event. So let's go make our drop event a little bit more intelligent. So back in our app component here, before we had this code that just moved uh, from the previous index to the current index, but now we actually wanna do something a little bit more intelligent. So we wanna say if the event's uh, previous container is not equal to the event current container, then we know that we've moved between lists. And instead of move item in array, which is what we can do if they're the same, uh, we actually want to use another one, which is uh, transfer array item. So it works almost the same as move item in array, but instead you're gonna pass this dot uh, container, or excuse me, event dot container dot data, and then we'll pass it the event dot previous container 
dot data, the event dot previous index, and the event current index. So now we've got a little fork in the road here where we check to see if we've moved across lists. If we move across lists, we modify both of the arrays. Otherwise, we just update the individual array. All right, and I think I may have just flipped these back and forth. So I think I may actually want to start with the previous container, just like starting with the previous index. So we're going to go from the previous container to the current container, from the previous index to the current index. So let's give that a try here. Perfect. All right, now we can take any of our numbers, we can order them however we want, we can drag and drop between the two lists, and we are done. Thanks so much for watching this video. Hope to see you in the next one.